Full story, my stepdaughter died four weeks ago and I caught my husband and his ex-wife in our bed. Original post, May 10, 2024. My stepdaughter Becca, 14F, died four weeks ago. I've been in her life since she was seven years old, we were extremely close. My husband Derek, 40M, his ex-wife Sam, 38F, and I have 35F, get along very well, there has never been an issue in the seven years that I've been with Derek. Sam has always been kind to me, she didn't even care that Becca called me a mom too. Right after Becca's passing, Sam had so much anxiety and depression that she was unable to be by herself, she has no family besides us, so we invited her to stay with us. Sam hardly leaves the house, she mostly just sleeps in Becca's room, which is completely understandable. I always tell her that I'm here if she needs me and that I want her to take her time with grieving and that there is no pressure to go back to her home. Today I needed to run some errands, so I asked Sam if she'd like to join me to get out of the house a little bit, but she declined and said she'd rather just stay at the house and sleep. I told Derek that I was leaving and that I would be back in two-ish hours, he works from home, I also told him to check on Sam every once in a while and maybe try getting her to eat something. After stopping at the post office, I realized I forgot my library book that I needed to return, so I went back home to get it. As soon as I walked in the door, I heard moaning coming from mine and Derek's bedroom. I immediately knew what was happening, and my heart completely broke in that moment. I wasn't completely sure what to do, but I ended up deciding to confront them, so I walked to the bedroom and opened the door and began yelling at them both. Sam started having an anxiety attack and ran to the bathroom while Derek kept apologizing profusely. I asked him what the hell was happening, he told me that he made himself and Sam some lunch and they began talking about Becca, and shared some memories. And then Sam ended up kissing him and he didn't pull back, and then it ended with them in our bed. They're begging me to understand that it was just grief that caused them to become intimate and that they both made a mistake. I don't know what to do. I love this man. And I love Sam. I'm heartbroken that they did this to me and put me in this position. I feel so stuck. Relevant comments. Great championship 252, that would be hard no for me. I understand grieving, but how is this excusing cheating? What happens next time he is sad? Edit, I misspoke when I said sad. Obviously, this is something beyond devastating. I still don't think it can be used as an excuse. OOP, I don't want to excuse his cheating. I think I want to divorce him, but I'm anxious about doing it right after we lost Becca. Spellbound mama, probably together. Do you both own the home? If it's in your name, change the locks. Stay strong and don't listen to his excuses. I am so sorry this happened to you during such a difficult time. OOP, exactly what I was thinking if I'm being honest. And yes, we both own it. When I told him to leave, he kept saying sorry and then said that he would leave and respect me wanting him gone for a while. Impulsive X thoughts, are you seeing a therapist perhaps? You're dealing with a lot right now, it might be useful. OOP, yes, I am in therapy. I've been with my therapist for other things for the last three years. She's been very helpful. I saw her yesterday and was able to figure some things out. Update number 1, May 11, 2024. I decided that I'm filing for a divorce. I can't ever trust Derek again. It sucks because we had an amazing relationship, I thought. He's always been great, so this was a complete shock to me. Last night, Derek came over to talk. He confessed to a lot. Turns out it wasn't their first time having sex like most people thought. They've been having sex since three months before Becca died. I am completely shocked and heartbroken. Sam also reached out last night and thanked me for everything I've done for her and told me she was sorry. I didn't respond, I blocked her. I did so much for Sam and considered her a friend so this hurts a lot, more than I can handle. This is all too much. As hard as this is gonna be, I need to leave Derek and cut them both out of my life. I am ready to do so. I am done. Also, some people are saying I deserve this because I should have known better than to let Sam into our home, around Derek. But, you need to understand that I'm a giving person, I trust people more than I should, I truly thought Sam was an amazing person. I know it's unusual to become friends with your husband's ex-wife, but it's just how it went for us and I shouldn't be blamed for what happened. Thank you to everyone who commented nice things and for the kind messages. You've all been helpful during this insanely difficult time, I appreciate it. Relevant comments. Impulsive X thoughts, out of curiosity, what are his excuses for cheating? Those two are going to be in a world of hurt, once the guilt settles in. They're going to be asking themselves why it had to be Becca and will eventually come to conclusion that it's their punishment for what they've done to you. I can pretty much guarantee you that. OOP, he told me that they just accidentally reconnected one night when I was away at my mom's. He was stressed we weren't conceiving and were having miscarriages, so he vented to Sam, and then somehow that led to sex. 
It seems so icky to me. How can he vent about our struggles like that and then go and have sex with Sam? It's just awful of him. I don't understand it. Editor's note. Remove the first half of the updates as it was a rehash of update number one. Updates number two, May 13th, 2024. I'm getting lots of questions about some things so I figured I'd answer a few of them. Have I told anyone about what happened besides my mom? Yes, I told a few friends and some family members. Most of them are supportive of my decision and aren't speaking to Derek. Where is Derek staying? Currently, he's staying at a hotel. Our friends refuse to let him stay with them. He's lost a lot of people due to his awful decisions. Has he tried fighting me on getting a divorce? Yes, he begged me not to file for divorce, but when I told him I needed him to just let me go, and that I was too exhausted to fight him on this, he let it be and agreed to getting a divorce. Why isn't Derek staying with Sam? He told me he didn't want to continue to hurt me, so he told Sam he was done with her for good, and that they have no reason to speak to each other anymore. I have no idea if that'll last and if they'll just end up together, but I truly don't care what they do anymore. I just want peace. What was Derek's excuse for cheating? He told me that they just accidentally reconnected one night when I was away at my mom's. He was stressed we weren't conceiving and were having miscarriages, so he vented to Sam, and then somehow that led to sex. Disgusting of them both, I know. Feel free to ask anything else, and I'll try to answer. Thank you everyone for your support and advice. Relevant comments. OOP on what happened to Becca. OOP. It was very sudden. She died in a car accident when she was with one of her friends and her friend's parents. OOP on her husband's parents being supportive or not, and if they know about his cheating. OOP. I get along with Derek's mom very well, but he's also a mama's boy so it's kinda complicated. She will always be there for him, he'd stay with her if she didn't live across the country. She knows what he did and told me she had a talk with him but said that he's still her son and she'd help him with anything if he needed it. I'm thinking I need to cut her out of my life too which makes me really sad because we were close and talked on the phone almost daily. OOP on if she has children with her husband. OOP, we've had 6 miscarriages total. All of them were in the first trimester. More updates, May 14th, 2024. I just found out that he is staying with Sam and not at the hotel. He told me it's too expensive to stay at a hotel and Sam is the only one that'll help him right now. I had a feeling this would happen. Just knowing that they are still probably sleeping together hurts my heart. I talked to a lawyer this morning and we are proceeding with the divorce and Derek agreed to it. It's actually happening, and I feel some relief that he's not fighting me on this. My mom leaves on Sunday, I'm scared to be alone. But I go back to work on Monday so I'm hoping it'll be a good distraction. I'll keep updating if anything else happens. Thank you everyone, I am so grateful for you all. Relevant comments. Immaculate 329, OP, how did you find out he was staying at his ex-wife's place? Anything he says should be taken with a grain of salt. He is not true to his words in going on contact with Sam. OOP, he texted me this morning after we talked to lawyers, and said he just wants to be honest with me. I told him to stop giving me updates on what he's doing in his life and that it's not something I need to know. It seems like he wanted to tell me to hurt me. OOP on how she is doing. OOP, thank you. I'm doing a little better today. My mom and I went on some nature walks and went out into the garden this afternoon, that helped. Becca loved gardening with me so it made me feel closer to her. Becca's Diary, May 15, 2024. I decided to go through some of Becca's stuff today. I just found her diary in a box in the back of her closet. Would it be wrong to read some of it? I feel like it would help me feel closer to her but part of me feels like it's wrong too. I haven't told Derek that I found it either, and I'm unsure if I should tell him. What would you do? Relevant comments. OOP on if she was closer with Becca prior to her sudden passing. OOP, Becca and I were very close, it felt like she told me anything and everything, but I honestly think all parents feel that way about their kids so I'm kinda nervous to read it. Just a little update, May 19th, 2024. I figured it's been a few days, so I should give a little update. My mom is leaving in a couple hours so I'll be alone, I'm kinda nervous about it. She helped me stay distracted and kept me going, it how I'm gonna handle her being gone. I go back to work tomorrow, first day back since Becca passed away. I'm looking forward to it though because it'll keep me distracted. Also, I did read some of Becca's diary. It made me love her even more, she was such a sweetheart. I went back a few months and saw that she noticed some weird behavior between Derek and Sam, didn't mention that she knew of the affair, but she just wrote that she thought it was kinda strange that they all three would hang out more than usual, without me. I might read more, but so far I haven't found anything that's disturbing, just her being a teenager and talking about crushes, fights with friends, happy family memories, etc. Hmm. Tomorrow, I'm also talking to my lawyer so I might have more updates on that. 
Thanks for the continuous love and support everyone. Last update for a while. May 26, 2024. Started randomly getting a lot more messages slash comments so I figured I'd do another little last update. My first week back at work went great. I wasn't expecting it to go so well, but thankfully it did. My coworkers were so helpful and patient with me. On Friday night, I decided I didn't want to stay home all weekend alone, so I decided to drive up to my mom's. It helps I have a three-day weekend so I can spend more time with her. I'm heading back home tomorrow. Also, for those of you that have messaged me hateful things for reading Becca's diary, I just have to say, you aren't in my shoes right now. Telling me I'm a bad mom because I'm reading her diary is just ridiculous. I learned so much more about her, about how caring and sweet she is, and it made me love her even more. It's how I'm able to feel so close to her right now, so please don't tell me I'm a bad parent for just trying to get by one of the hardest times of my life. You have no idea what it's like. I don't have much of an update, so this will be it. I'll come back and update once the divorce happens though. Thank you to those of you that have been nothing but kind and helpful, you helped me feel less alone, I'll forever be grateful. New update. Sam saw my Reddit post and is threatening to sue me. June 1, 2024. Sam made a fake FB profile to message me and tell me she wants to sue me for telling strangers about what happened. Derek supports her apparently. I don't need this. Am I not allowed to vent about my life to people online? I just want life to get better. I'm so tired. Fuck you Sam. Fuck you Derek. Edit. Sam is in the comments and messaged me on here too. Blocked her. Additional information from OOP. OOP on the message from Sam. OOP. No, I just ignored her. It might be an empty threat just to make my life harder, but I'm unsure. Her message said, So I was scrolling TikTok and ended up on an account where they read Reddit posts and guess whose post they read? Yours. First you tell friends and family and then you go to a bunch of strangers and tell them our life story? I can't believe you. It isn't just your business to tell. Becca would be so disappointed in you. Be prepared cause I think I'm gonna be suing you for this, this was no one else's business. You did this to yourself, remember that. I'm actually baffled. She thinks Becca would be disappointed in me. WTF.